Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, so, I'm pretty busy today, but I figured I could take a couple minutes off and do a video. Um, so, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to have, I don't want to call it a competition. Maybe I will, I don't know. Uh, let me put it this way, I get a lot of software recommendations, a lot of people want me to review programs, try programs out, stuff like that. They want to have an effect on my workflow or something like that. And usually it doesn't happen just because I'm pretty set in what I'm doing. Uh, I got everything pretty much as efficient as possible. Um, but one program, of course, the program I get recommended the most is, of course, Emacs, which I don't use. And I have nothing against Emacs. I've, I've used it a little bit before. Um, but, you know, Emacs, if, you, if you're a good Emacs user, Emacs becomes a lifestyle. And that's a lifestyle I've never really gotten into. Um, so I would say, I, you know, I, of course, am a Vim user, but I don't even think Vim and Emacs are, like, mutually exclusive. I don't feel like they're, they're really equivalent because Emacs is like, a, it's like an operating system in a lot of ways. It is a lifestyle in a way that Vim isn't. So let me put it this way. I am going to be writing a dissertation pretty soon. And, you know, a dissertation is often the biggest thing you'll ever write, even if you end up writing books later on. It's, you know, hundreds of pages of, you know, notes and references and cross-references and all kind of stuff. And I figured my dissertation might be the best opportunity to actually get to play around with Emacs a lot. Um, but here's the thing. The reason I haven't really jumped, jumped into Emacs is just because I know what it can do. I know what org mode can do. People have told me. But it's like it doesn't really click unless I really see it. So what this video is going to be about is I want you to show me Emacs. This is a video competition and I am getting entrance from you guys. Uh, that is, I want you to make a video. No, d don't just email me a bunch of text or something like that. I get that all the time. People email me every week with paragraphs and paragraphs on why I should use Emacs. And that's fine. Um, but I want you to show me what Emacs can do, what it does for you, how you actually use it. Do a video on Emacs the same way I do videos on different programs. Uh, specifically org mode, but other things that can be really useful. I want to see videos on that. Um, and if you do so, if you put out something that's really great, that really changes my perspective or something like that, uh, yeah, I'll give you props, I'll, you know, highlight your video or whatever. So do a video, record it with FFmpeg or OBS or whatever you want to do. Uh, give me the link, send it to my email, put it on the form. I'll have a link to a, a thread on the form where you can put in entries or just throw them in the comments section because I, I'm genuinely curious. Like, I want to be persuaded to use Emacs. I want to be persuaded, or not just persuaded, but like, I want to see what kind of stuff you can do with it and how quick you can do it. Um, like, you know, I'm talking about like modifying a document, you know, just keeping everything in sync. I know that they have to-do lists. I want to see them used. It's just one of those issues of, again, I know the kind of stuff that Emacs org mode can do. I just want, I just want to see it. I just want to see it. And that, I mean, it's the same concept of you watching a lot of my videos. A lot of the stuff I'm doing, you may like know in your head that it's there, but you just want to see it done. And that's this, it's the same principle, right? Um, I, I, that's all I want to, so I want to be able to watch in, you don't have to have a long video. It could just be a couple minutes or just one minute or just showing some stuff off, impress me, impress me with Emacs, that's, that's the job, because I honestly want to use it, like I want, I think Emacs, I think org mode would be a great tool for working on my dissertation or other things, and in fact I've, I've tried to use it for a couple things before and it seems pretty useful, uh, I just don't see the big, you know, like Emacs for me, it, it seems like you know, if I'm going to be using it, I might as well use it for pretty much everything, right? Because it can do everything. So that's a sort of, sort of a big shift that I would be taking uh, if I'm doing like all of my basic manipulation on it. So I want, I want you to show me what Emacs OS can do. Um, so that, that's pretty much it. So again, throw, make a video, uh, put it in the comment section on the form. Again, I'll put a link to a thread uh, or just email it to me. Uh, I guess I'll review them, maybe silently, maybe not, and uh, get back to you on what's good and what isn't, what I'm impressed by, uh, and different stuff like that. So anyway, uh, that's all for today. i got to get back to work, but I'll see you guys next time.